parents, coaches, and student athletes from across Lucas County spent part of their Thanksgiving Day voicing disappointment over this week's orders to close school buildings and put a pause on sports. As our Kaylee Kirby explains tonight, it's the group feels it's being punished despite doing everything the right way. Wednesday's order to close schools and pause sports from the Lucas County Health Department has frustrated some parents, coaches, and student athletes across the county. Right now, we're fighting for our kids' senior year, uh, you know, my kids' senior year of sports, my team's senior year of sports, and, and kids that have grown up dreaming about this year for their whole life, and it's just being ripped away. They say this order is penalizing those who have done everything they've been asked to do to keep sports going. So they march from Ottawa Hills High School to the Board of Health President Dr. Jonathan Ross's house, voicing their concerns. As you take these kids out of school, you take these kids out of their sports or extracurriculars, where do they think they're going to be? Are they going to be sitting at home in their room playing video games? No, they're going to be getting together. There's going to be no ability to follow, to trace anything they're doing. The parents and coaches say leaving kids in school and their sports is a safer environment. Dr. Ross acknowledging that spread in school and sports is minimal right now, but could change based on COVID-19 in our community. Given the level of disease that's in our community, that our schools will soon become a point of transmission in the community. And we could wait until it is, or we can do something ahead of time. Dr. Ross said he will take a written statement from the group outside his house this morning and present it to the board. Reporting in Ottawa Hills, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11.